Hey guys, Tim here from Boogie Snail Mushroom. Hope you're having a very great day. So in this video, I continue giving you some great mushroom tips that nobody will tell you about. And uh, before we start, please remember, if you have a mix that you need mustard or remastered, request a quote at bsmustering.com and uh, receive 50% of your first order. And uh, I would also very much appreciate, guys, if you subscribe and hit the notification bell to support my channel. And now, let's get started. EQing is usually the place that gets engineers who master their own mixes into trouble. There's a tendency to overcompensate with the EQ, adding huge amounts usually on the bottom end that breaks uh, frequency balance completely. Luckily, there are some tips that can be followed to avoid this. First, always listen to reference tracks you like before you touch an EQ parameter. Remember, no MP3s. The more lossless format tracks you listen to, the better. You need a reference point to compare to, or you will surely overcompensate. Try importing several mustard songs into your mastering uh, session that you can constantly compare to. Secondly, a little EQ goes a long way. If you feel that you need to add more than 2 or 3 dB, you're better off to mix the song again. Mushroom is almost always in a very small increments, usually in tens of uh, dB. 2 or 3 at the very most in rare cases. What you will see is a lot of uh, small shorts of EQ along all their frequency band, but in uh, very small amounts. For example, you might see something like minus 1 at 30 hertz, uh, 0.5 at 60 hertz, 0.2 at uh, 120 minus 0.5 at 800 minus 0.7 at 2.5 k and uh, 0.6 at 8k. Notice that there's a little happening in a lot of different places. If you have to add a lot of EQ, it's time to go back and uh, remix. That's what the pros do. It is not uncommon at all for a pro mastering engineer to call up a mixer and tell him where he is off and uh, suggest that he does it again. Thirdly, keep comparing the EQ'd version with your original version. The idea of mastering is to make the sound better with EQ, not worse. Don't fall into the trap where you think it sounds better just because it uh, sounds louder. The only way to understand what you are listening to is to have levels pretty much the same between the EQ'd and the pre-EQ'd track. That's why a plugin like Ian Shepard's Perception AB is so great for mastering comparison. It allows you to compensate for the increased uh, levels so that you can really tell if you are making uh, sound better or not. Finally, keep comparing the song you are currently working on to all the other songs in the project that you've uh, previously worked on. The idea is to get them sound equally. It is pretty common for mixes to sound different from song to song even if they are done by the same mixer with the same gear. But it is your job to make listeners think that the songs were all done on the same day in the same way. They should get the sound as close as possible to each other, or at least reasonably close uh, as to not stand out. Remember, if you can't get the songs to sound like your best sound in reference tracks, your mastering job will still be considered pro if you can get all the songs to sound the same in tone and volume. 